Hey guys. Today's gonna be a good show. I've got good news and I've got good news. We're gonna be testing out the Rode Wireless Go. We're gonna be testing out the Rode Caster. And I hope you guys are ready because I'm gonna share the present time lessons learned and I'm also gonna share everything that I know now with you because that's how I roll. I want you to know what I know. Okay, welcome back. Anyways, look, I got this. Uh, got some new purchases I made, and I had to make them because I'm not. I wasn't happy with my setup. You can look at my previous videos, and they're not where I wanted them to be. Anyways, again, welcome back to Project Eighty Eight Keys. Um, this is not going to be a tech channel. This is going to be a songwriting channel. However, I've got to share some techie stuff with you guys so that you know what I know, pros and cons. But honestly, there's no cons. Um, basically. I'm using the Rode Wireless Go right now. I got it connected to my Sony A6300. I've got the Rode Caster right here where I'm running all my audio through. I'm also doing a screen record on ScreenFlow. I don't use that as an ed editor. I use Final Cut Pro. However, um, I'm just explaining to you what my current setup is. Um, also, my buddy Andrew, let me borrow a couple of lights. And um, I've got some lights coming in. I forget the brand. I think the brand is newer. Anyways, it's all good because at the end of the day, it's June 9th, 2020, and this is my current setup. You're going to see my setup grow. You're going to see it evolve. You're going to see it develop first. I've got my Nord Stage 3 plugged in. I've got it plugged in headphones and left and right. I'm using a quarter inch out from here to an XLR into channel 2 and 3. I'm going to let you hear that now. Um, here we go. Cool. Three audio tracks, headphone, left and right. I'm testing these out because there's a cool feature on the Rodecaster that I'm going to share with you in a little bit. Anyways, I'm also going to take the audio and take it from the road later on and detach it from this audio because there might be some parts where this Neumann mic does not pick up something that I'm trying to do. For instance, if I get up and walk away right now, now all you're hearing is the road so i've switched to the road you're going to be picking up some stuff from the neumann but on the editing i'm going to make sure that i put this road in there so you can get an idea i literally walked about an eighth of a mile away from the camera uh, earlier today and this road wireless goes awesome it is it is great anyways i just wanted to let you know though that i'm here i want this channel to be transparent i want this channel to be something you can go to i might not know everything OK, believe me, I don't know everything, but what I do know, I'm going to share with you, because honestly, here's the future, in my opinion. The future is giving away stuff for free, because here's the deal. There's seven billion people in the world. OK, at the end of the day, it's all about sharing what you know, because at the end of the day, who do we have to depend on? Who do we have to count on in the future? Who's who's it going to be? It's going to be us. So let's all help each other out. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to get into this demo. Anyways, so I'm not going to walk outside. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy here, but you are hearing audio right now from the Rode Wireless Go. It's a great little system. Um, it plugs in via an eighth inch, quarter inch input to the receiver, which is plugged in on that camera right there. And it's transmitting. Here's the cons. It's only one channel. So if my son James wanted to plug in and show you his new guitar song you learned or whatever, unfortunately, I would have to figure out another way to uh, collect his audio. But it's all good because I'm okay with that um, for now. Anyways, um, I basically wanted to show you what I'm doing over here on this Rode Podcaster right here. 
So basically, this Rode podcast is cool. You can plug in whatever you want to plug in. You can plug in a mic. You can plug in your keyboard. You can plug in your phone. I can call somebody. For instance, I'm going to try to call my son right now and see if his audio comes through, and we'll test it out. Um, if he picks up, great. If not, because I, I don't really know where he is right now, but let's try it out. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can get him on the phone, just to give you an idea of how this system works. So, calling him from the roadcaster, as you can see. Calling him from the roadcaster. If he picks up, it should come in on this Bluetooth channel. Hi, Dad. How's your day? James, go get your phone. Oh my God! Hey, I know, right? Go get your phone and pick oh up. Oh my God, my day's going great. Thank you. Great, Bye. good. Pick up your phone. I want to hear this audio. All right, sorry for the delay. So this would be good if you were doing a podcast only. This is more of a songwriting channel, but this would be a cool thing if you were just doing uh, a, po a podcast. Podcast. Okay, so there he is. You hear him? Let me. So I'm going to turn the audio up a little bit. Say something for the for the people out there. Hello. Hello. All right, so he's playing around on the phone doing scary, dark voices. But anyways, hey. you get the idea. So he's right there, unfortunately. Dad, I love you. Anyways, I love you too, buddy. Anyways, so that's a little idea. Unfortunately, he would normally be somewhere else, so he just hung up. Normally, he'd be somewhere else. But again, um, I'm pretty much going to... That's enough for the, the phone setting. That's, that's enough. Anyways, you get the idea. Cool. So that's hooked up. Another thing that's hooked up is this mic right here. And what's nice about this Rodecaster is a feature that, because everybody has a different mic. Everybody has a different keyboard. Everybody has a different input. You, the system audio is going in there too via USB to a USB-C. Cool. The cool thing about it is that I wanted to isolate all the audio. I wanted to isolate all the audio when I was done with the podcast because I wanted to manipulate it. I wanted to be able to basically take the left channel of the keyboard, and if I want that particular channel to be higher, then I'm going to make it higher. I wanted the ability to manipulate the sound the way I want to make the sound. Because you know what? Once you capture a moment, once you do something and you record it, it's done. You can't go back and capture this, that, and the other. You got to capture it when you got to capture it. Anyways, so at the end of the day, it's awesome, too, because you can do stuff like this. I'll do a laughter thing. Like, I made a joke or somebody did something funny. And uh, you can push that. You, you, yeah, okay. So you can push that button and people laugh, right? There's another one of applause. Like, hi, I just completed my SAT and I did really well on it. You get the idea. You make a joke, you can do this drum thing. But um ching, this is how it sounds. Okay. So you can program that to do whatever you want to do. Anyways, it's a cool little feature. The best part about this is that I've gotten some comments in the past that I was reserved and looked nervous and this, that, and the other. It's because my setup wasn't right. My setup's as good as it's gonna get for now. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna do a few more demos and uh I'm gonna show you how cool this thing is and basically walk you through a few things and then I'm out. All right. So back to the screen. So I'm looking at the screen right here, guys. Okay, cool. So I've got GarageBand open and you notice that I have vocals, USB left, USB right. Earlier today, I pulled in a bunch of tracks, 16 different tracks, 16 different tracks, 16 different tracks. Guess what? I only had audio coming in on the vocal one because I didn't have my XLR to quarter inch cables, but I went to my buddy Drew's house and got them. Thanks, Drew. Anyways, I basically deleted all the tracks except for three. So right now on the screen, you see three tracks. But what's so cool is that now I have one, two, wait, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the stereo, seven, eight, which is going to be cool when I'm done with this. I'm going to load in 16 tracks, but guess what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are going to have stuff on it. But it's not going to say Bluetooth. It's not going to say USB. You actually have to go in there and label it yourself. But what's cool 
is that you can isolate the track. You can put EQs on this. You can put EQs on that. You can drop the stereo out if you truly want to have total track isolation. I can drag this audio in from the road, from the road, from the road. I love this road. It's so cool. Anyways, this road is so cool. I can extract this audio that's coming in from that Sony A6300, detach it, and edit that too. In case for some reason, let's say hypothetically, our new little puppy rips this cord in half and I don't have anything, but I'm going on a roll and I have a great little podcast going. I'm telling you, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And after I submit this podcast to YouTube, I, I've got some ideas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Anyways, um, again, my first show was talking about songwriting, writing chords, doing this, that, and the other. I've gotten away from that, but I had to share with you guys. I had to share my present time uh, things I'm learning here. So anyways, I think I'm done. Oh, they're not going to give you an SD card when you get this Rodecaster, okay? So what you got to do is either steal it from your GoPro, because I, really I haven't been really happy with my GoPro. But I took the SD card from it, right? Okay? Took the SD card from the GoPro and used it, slipped it in, and guess what? I thought I needed this little adapter thing to put the SD card in there and then slip it in my computer, but I didn't, because guess what? They thought of it. With this new update, what they did was they gave you the ability to use the application Rode provides, and you can actually extract it from your computer, so I never have to touch the SD card. It's awesome. However, you wonder why, why do you need it? Well, because they didn't put a solid state hard drive in the, the machine. And that's fine. Maybe they did that to keep the cost down. I don't know. At the end of the day, um, I just want to say I'm excited, guys. And thank you so much for listening. Oh, um, I wanted to try one more thing. I wanted to plug my guitar in and actually put it on one of these tracks. But I think for the most part, you get the idea. Um, like I said, I got the road right here. I'll play a little bit more with the road so you can hear it. Um, you know, it's... Let's go to a different sound, you know. Here we go. It sounds great. Plus, you're hitting this audio. Plus, you got the road audio. So it's cool. It's almost like a wedding. If you go to a wedding and you're a wedding photographer, the reason that they have backup um, uh, cards that stick in the camera is because if one card malfunctions, it's a wedding. People pay a wedding photographer. I'm not a wedding photographer. Um, I've played at a few weddings musically, but not a photographer. Anyways, if if you don't capture that stuff and the wet, like they're not going to get married twice. So it's very important that when you do capture something like a podcast, that you make sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're capturing everything you need. Cause you can go back later and edit it, take this out, pull this down, do this, do that, do this, do that. Okay. Anyways, I'm sharing my current setup with you guys. I, I, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. I'm not going to unbox the uh, Rode Podcaster in the, in the thing. I did that in the store when I was waiting on my buddy because I needed to know what it is. I threw the box away. I, this, this, channel, this channel is not the channel where, oh, I got a new Rode Podcaster or a Rodecaster, and I'm going to show you how I open the box, how I look at this, how I look at that. No, this channel's real. This channel's transparent. And this channel is about giving you present time, no joke, information. Okay, again, Rode Wireless Go. I'm excited. Hopefully the audio comes out great. There's a few settings within the unit. What I would encourage you to do is to go into your camera and make sure that you're not peeking out. I went into my Sony and I had to take the level from 26 all the way down to 1, okay? And I had to make sure the Rode Podcaster or the, uh, the Rode Wireless Go, I had to make sure this was down to the middle setting. They've got three different settings, low, middle, and high. Cool. So you want to make sure you don't have anything that's peaking. Because if it's peaking, that's bad. You're not going to be able to go back and change that audio once it's captured. I mean, there's probably ways to do it, but I don't have the type of software to do that. Anyways, I'm going to show you real quick on the screen record just so you get an idea of how all the system audio is actually going back into the road pa pa uh, the roadcaster. So I'm just going to open up iTunes real quick and just play um, a little song or something from earlier today that I did. Um, and just so you can hear. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. Hold up. Uh, yeah. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, 
Yeah, it's probably because I don't have a setting right in there or something. Anyways, whoops. Uh, this is kind of like that moment that Tesla threw the ball at the windshield and it actually broke. Um, so I'm going to go into my systems preferences, check my sound. And up oh, the output's going to the Telestream audio capture, which is kind of weird because... I don't know if the screen recording is actually going to capture my system audio, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to switch it. Making sure uh, different things work properly. So and this is what I recorded earlier. Going smooth. So, anyways, yeah, it's going to be a good. It's going to be a good show. We're definitely going. Cool. Anyways, I'm I'm hoping to get the magnetic wood band here um, to do a little podcast before um, the show we have coming up. Um, and I think it's going to be cool because we're going to be able to plug four microphones into this unit and uh, actually capture everybody's voice and adjust everybody's headphone levels. There's four different level outputs on this to where if I've got a guy or a female, male, female in the room really loud or they're like, I can't hear anything. You can turn their headphones up and turn somebody else's down. This is a great unit. I mean, I'm, I'm literally in love with it right now, and I'm excited about my setup. Hopefully, this video comes out great. Um, and if I got something else for you guys to share that I, I couldn't wait, I had to share tonight. But in the future, you know, if something comes to mind or whatever, I'm going to share it with you guys. However, we're going to get back to the song, okay? Because um, we need to finish it. No lyrics, and we still have no melody. We have the chords, though, which is cool. Anyways, all right. Love you guys. Thank you for coming to uh, Project 88 Keys. Um, and hopefully I will share more in the future. And remember, don't forget to prescribe and like my channel. Just kidding. You don't have to. Um, it's just an inside joke with my son and I. You had to be there. Anyways, all right. Peace. I hope you...